In this video, we're gonna go over a character design workflow using Vizcom's reference image tool to come up with some quick idea generations. We'll be covering the whole process from creating some rough initial sketches and then bringing those sketches into Vizcom to quickly generate some ideas. And then finally bringing those ideas over to Photoshop where we will do final paint overs to quickly come up with a cool character design. We'll first start out with a preliminary sketch and explore silhouettes. This step can be done with either basic block-ins or line art to get our overall aesthetic. On a new file, I'll go ahead and double click on the image block and import the sketch that we just made. In the prompt box, I'm just gonna fill in something really simple to kind of describe what we're looking for. Next, we're gonna go down to the style menu dropdown and we're gonna pick Cybercell as it will give us a more concept art stylized look to our output. And the next step, which is really important, is the reference image tab, which will allow us to upload a reference image to grab the sort of shapes, form language, and color palette and apply it to our final render output. In this example, I choose an interesting looking bike helmet due to its striking color palette and interesting angular shapes that I want to apply to my character design. After that, I select the right level of drawing influence that keeps the original intent of my sketches, but also gives Vizcom some room to explore its own shapes. For this example, I believe 80% should be good. And finally, I will click here to generate four images so that I can see a variety of different results. So it looks like Vizcom was able to manage combining some of those interesting cool shapes and color palettes into our rough sketches to create some unique proposals. On the menu bar on the bottom, I can go ahead and click add and that will add it to our current layer stack. I can also click on this icon to download my image and clicking on the eye icon will reveal my original sketch. If I want to return back to the workbench area, I can just go ahead and double click outside of the canvas to get back. I can go ahead and duplicate the image and it will create a new image block with all the layers retained from the original. And then with this new image block, I can go ahead and show the original sketch, keep all the same parameters, but upload a different reference image to try out a new set of idea generations. On the workbench area, I went ahead and created a layout of different generations based on different reference images. And if I had some collaborators looking at this file, they can go ahead and comment on their favorite results. So with this set that we've decided on, we're just gonna go ahead and click on the export button and then bring it over to Photoshop. And then this marks the beginning of the paint over process where we're gonna take bits and pieces of each idea and then combine them into one character design. At some point during the paint over process, I decided to generate a more detailed out chess piece from Vizcom and then import that back into Photoshop and paint over it. That concludes the video. I hope that this video gives insight on how to create interesting and unique character designs utilizing Vizcom and the reference tool. Try this process out for your next design at vizcom.ai.